Let's take a look here at ReLU. So ReLU stands for Rectified Linear Unit Activation Function, where the positive axis is linear and the negative axis is always zero. So it looks like that. And again, just remember the point of activation functions is that it's either on or off or always on to, to some degree or not. Um, so here the range is zero to infinite. So we have a positive axis that is unbound. Um, so with sigmoid and ta uh, tons, it fires almost all the neurons and this leads to things being dense. Remember we said dense as in um, there's, it's adding more information as it goes as opposed to being the same or less. It's slow, it's costly. Um, so the uh, uh, ReLU is, uh, will, will sparsely trigger activation functions because of its negative axis gradient being zero. So you have, um, you know, if something is really low, it's going to be zero. It's not going to um, be a, a teeny tiny bit on. It's less costly, but it's more uh, efficient. So it's a lot faster. Uh, the negative axis uh, with a zero gradient has a side effect called the ReLU dying gradient. So the gradient will go towards zero and will be stuck in zero because variations adjusting due to input or error will have nothing to, uh, uh, nothing to adjust to, so the nodes essentially die, okay?